Well, go on, everybody. I'm Delano Adamson from Portmore, Jamaica, and I'm studying animal science, pre vet major here at Dort. My first few days at Dort were really surreal. Like, I watched a lot of Disney Channel back home and a lot of US based movies. So, seeing the whole, the hallways and how the classes were structured and the kind of teachers and the environment. So, I felt like I was in a movie more than anything. So that was a feeling for me the first couple of days, really surreal. Um, the dorms were interesting because I lived in East, East Hall first and how East Hall is set up is one big bunk, one guy on the left, one guy on the right. So that was kind of new for me. I never um, bunked before. Um, I got a really decent roommate, so it was good. Um, the second year, my second year, I lived in the apartments. That was way better. The eater, we have a lot more control of the heating. Um, I got to cook a lot. Um, it was, at, it had more space. People in Sioux Center, they are really friendly, and especially the classes that I take, and especially being pre-vet. I meet a lot of pre-vet students in the pre-vet club. If you're in the agriculture club, you meet a lot of people you keep seeing the same faces over and over in your respective classes. So it really wasn't hard making friends. What I can say they have done really well is they have made themselves available. Like they go above and beyond what I think is expected because back home, you don't get so much one-on-one -on -one time with professors. So when I was here, I got to be with my professors in class, out of class, on weekends, you send them email, they email you back. Um, they really care about your progress and that really encourages me to see that, well, they are really interested in me developing as a person and as a student. In terms of like grading and stuff as well, they grade papers really fast. So I get a feedback really, really fast as opposed to doing an exam now and not getting back my results until way, where, you know, whenever, wherever. So that has been really good also. And pretty much are easily approachable. So I like that. Student Without Borders put on a lot of activities. You have the curry craze and my personal favorite, the culture fair. So we get to display our culture a lot. Um, dancing, singing, you see a whole bunch of other cultures and you're like, wow, wow, wow. So I would say all the activities that they put on, it really helps you to feel a bit more at home. Uh, like you don't feel like um, a fish out of water. You're like all in this together. Uh, my work experience has been awesome, like totally awesome. My boss, Steven Bogard, best, the best. Um, so I don't have fixed hours where I work. I kind of like, um, build my hours around my timetable and Steven is really cool about that so sometimes I'm working late in the night sometimes it's early in the morning sometimes on well not so much on weekends but yeah that helps a whole lot um, I work in the science building and what I really like about working under Steven is that I'm not doing any one activity every day of the week so some days I'll be washing glasswares, some days I'll be mixing chemicals, some days I'll be measuring, some days I'll be inventoring. And all the equipments and tools and stuff come through Steven. So I get to assemble a lot of um, machines and stuff, get to fix a lot of machines. So that has been really good. I can go as far as to say I can put my head on the block, the block to say DART is probably 2000% safe. Like when I came, I think it was my first or my second day here and I came by the commons to, you know, add on my backpack and I saw everybody left their backpacks. I'm like, hold on, this is strange because back home, I'm not just going to leave my backpack on the ground wherever. So DART is really safe. I also work campus security and pretty much most nights there isn't anything to write about. You don't hear of thefts, you don't hear of crime, you don't hear of anything bad is a peaceful community.